Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Something a little bit different from the Shopify video stuff. Going back to the old school stuff here that what I, what I first started on. This was requested by someone in our Facebook group. If you haven't checked that out, come and join us. There's a lot of good information in there. Uh, it's at onlinesummarize.com. So this is really covering search engine optimization in 2017. Like, has anything changed? What is, is there any like new secrets or anything? Well, sorry to say, but it's still the same. The only difference I, I kind of see is uh, content. The better the content is, the more the more chances you have to rank. And it's always been like that, but now I see it more often. Uh, with, you know, changing my content around and things like that, my pages seem to rank better. So I'm going to go through uh, just a bit, bit of information here. Now this would work on your Shopify stores as well. Um, probably. The, the content would be a problem because a lot of your products wouldn't have long descriptions um, because I recommend over 2,000 words. But you can start a blog on your Shopify store. You can pay people on Upwork or Freelancer to write blog posts for you. And you can upload them to a blog on your Shopify store and you can get traffic that way from organic traffic. So if you don't know what search engine optimization is, it's when you rank your websites in Google. So for example, my one here is second at the, well, it's actually first um, for how to make money on Facebook, apart from this um, su uh, suggested one here from Facebook. So I'm second um, with that in the way. But that's what it is. It's basically telling, it's um, you're telling Google about your website and you're trying to get it to the top of Google for more traffic. All right, so I don't think much is gonna change in 2017. It's also gonna be the same. There'll probably be Google updates and things like that, but I've never really been affected by any updates, so. I can't really comment on if they've changed, uh, if they're going to change anything. But the three things you need, which are very important, is good content, on page optimization, and backlinks. Now, if you do the first two properly and you're in kind of like a semi easy niche, a medium niche, you can get to the front page. We've seen it before, it's, um, but you've got to get your, your content perfect. You've got to be the authority in that niche. Google's got to love your site, and uh, it's quite hard to do that, but it can be done. And then, uh, and then backlinks will cover that uh, as well. So the first thing we're going to cover is content. This is very important to get right from the start. I do 2,000 plus words at least on my blog and my um, affiliate websites. Now, sometimes on my affiliate websites, I even go 3,000, 4,000 words. I make it a massive authority type um, article. Good related images, very, very important. Heaps of images and then a video or two as well if you can. Uh, lots of related interlinking i'll cover that in a second and then one or t one or three outbound links or four or five even just you want to you want google to see your page as the boss in that topic like the page that it wants to rank the page that everyone wants to see the page that google wants to show people so we'll cover a few of these um right now so as you can see this is one of my articles that's ranking and i have lots of words okay lots of words and i have lots of images Tons of images. And I also have a video down here somewhere as well. Where is it? A video there as well. Now, what are we what are we talking about when we talk about things like um, interlinking? So it's but it's it's kind of like a structure to your site. So what I do is I link out to related and even semi-related articles on my website that kind of gives people information about what I'm talking about. And this article here has tons of interlinking so much and it it ranked with no backlinks this ranks with no backlinks and it was and it didn't rank and then what i did is i went through and i did a whole bunch of interlinking and changed all my page up and then it ranked on the first page without any backlinks so as you can see it links to another article simply by just linking to it in the article uh, in the in the original article then when when i talk about outbound links is links that link to relate other related websites so here i link to uh, black hat black hat world which was actually a thread about this topic of this article here so it was very very related and it tells google that and tells google what your page is about you want to tell google what your page is about so you need the content you need the, the google can't see images but you can change the uh, tags and stuff and you want to put videos in. you want to do lots of interlinking interlinking uh, we've noticed me and another guy that um, you might know I'm Dylan. We've noticed that this helps a lot. Just telling Google what your page is about. 
So that's that's one of the keys to this um, ranking online. Very good content. If you don't have it, you're, you've already um, started off at a bad start. So make sure you have good content. Uh, put some videos in there. Put some images in there. And make your article an authority in that niche. Make it the one that Google wants to rank. So yeah, that's really all there is to that section. Like you just need to have uh, good content. Now what I do to increase traffic as well is I go through my site and you want to fix up any old content and recheck it, see if it's ranking, see if you need to update any of the links, update any of the videos, things like that. You'll probably increase your traffic with some basic tweaks. So what I'm talking about is when I talk about this article, right? I went through and I did some tweaks, I did some more interlinking, uh, I linked out to some more outbound websites, right? And it ranked on the first page without any backlinks at all. There's probably some natural backlinks going to it now, but that's it. It doesn't have any um, other backlinks. I think it might have a couple of Web 2.0s, which we'll talk about soon, but that um, those happened after it ranked. So just go through your sites, fix them up, do some interlinking, find some videos on my YouTube channel or on other people's channel on how to do this type of stuff. Next, we've got backlinks. Now, I used to do um, expired Web 2.0s. If you don't know what that is at all, which is this is probably like a new language to a lot of you guys if you don't know what that is you can check out my older videos i sometimes do it um for the guys for the the ones of you the for the ones that know what i'm talking about the reason i don't do it all the time now is because it's harder to do and it takes a lot of time so i do web 2.0s and private blog network pbn links to rank my websites that's all i do those two things um for the off-page stuff i don't do guest posting or anything like that uh, only for my blog but i'm talking about like affiliate websites here um, sites that make you money like Amazon sites and things like that. So this is all I do. Now, let's cover let's cover these things. So Web 2.0s. Now, where do I get my Web 2.0s from? A website called Conquer.io. Um, I don't really want to advertise the site, but I'm going to anyway. But this is where I get my Web 2.0s. Uh, I use this guy here, Niche Exposure. And if we go to my page, you'll see that I've purchased a ton of him. Look at it. I've purchased a lot. This stuff works. I'm telling you right now. He does the best web web 2.0s in the business. Seriously, he's he does really really good ones. You're gonna find like on on the, some of these forums, SEO forums, they have the worst services you can get. But this guy here, web 2.0 service, is amazing. So this is what I use, and this is how it works. So he makes. Um, free websites for you and you and you can use uh, you use anchor text to link back to your main site and what I mean by free sites like wordpress.org um, blogger website um, webly and stuff like that tumblr just free sites and this is what I send them so the anchor text you use and anchor text is when you link to your site so if we go back to here this is an anchor text. So he's going to be linking back from the web 2.0 to your website with an anchor text. And these are the words that you could use. So this is really just a general thing. I, I don't know your niche. I don't know your keywords. So this isn't going to work for everyone. You're going to have to do your own keyword research. But let's say, for example, for the web 2.0s, I would, let's say my keywords, German Shepherd Dog Necklace. I would do things like Best German Shepherd Necklace, German Shepherd Necklace Review, German Shepherd Jewelry, German Shepherd Dog Jewelry, Dog Jewelry. And then if my website was, for example, called PetSale.com, I would do anchor text like PetSale, PetSale, PetSale.com, HTTP colon slash slash PetSale. And I would send it to this guy and say, can you use like four or five of these? Can you use a few of these? Because um, I usually get 20 Web 2.0s at a time. And this just gets my site ready for the big PBN links. Now, sometimes the site might even rank with just Web 2.0s or good content. So you might not need to get PBNs. But one, what I do once I get the Web 2.0s, this is another very important step because the Web 2.0s that you get don't have any power. You need to give them some power. So I go and buy this service here. Um, I'll link all this stuff in the description. But what this does is, we're on page one, he'll send 50,000 backlinks to the Web 2.0s or 30,000. So what I will do is, let's say I've purchased... Um, here, so 10 blogs. I think I, yeah, 10 blogs, right? I'm going to get, let's, I'm probably going to get 100,000 backlinks. So that's 10,000 to each blog. I'm going to send all the blogs to this guy. I'm going to give him a bunch of keywords. 
and it's going to juice up the web 2.0 it's going to make them stronger and it's going to send more power to my main website it's called tiered link building i don't think i have a video on that but you can find that online and yeah so it's kind of, it can be complex but it's very easy once you get the hang of it but this video is mainly for you guys who are asking um a bit of an update so you i think you know about this already so the web 2.0s i use and then i let them settle for maybe a month okay i just let them settle and see what they do they might it might be all i need then what i do to get more power is i use pvn links by the way i'll link um i'll link all this in the description so this guy here i'll link in the description for you guys the next i do pbn links private blog network links and these are the cream of the crop these are the ones that are going to smash your website to the top of google if you've done everything else right like your uh, your keyword research and things and the anchor text i use for that is um like my my exact keyword so if we go back here my keyword is german shepherd dog necklace i'm going to use that as my anchor text but I'm not because it's four words long. I wouldn't use many of them because it's a long tail keyword. I don't need to use um, that many anchor text. But for example, if I was doing just just dog necklace, I would use more anchor text if that makes sense because it's probably more of a harder keyword to rank, and it's a it's a smaller word. Like if you start doing German Shepherd dog necklace 10, 20 times, you're going to over optimize your backlink profile. But then it also depends. Maybe. Maybe that's what Google wants to see in this niche. You've got to kind of do your research and see what everyone else's um, keyword anchor text ratios are as well. So it's important to do your research um, before you really start doing your backlinks and things. But for this service, I use, uh, a lot of you guys probably know him, Hatred's PBN post uh, service. This guy has got the best post ever. I'm telling you right now, I've spent the last year finding the best the best services to use. He cares about his customers, he gives you advice, and he'll generally tell you if he can't rank your site. So he won't take your money and then just not do anything. He'll generally tell you if you, he can't do anything with your website or if you need to go back and change a few things. Now this is his service here, um, Hatred's PBM Post, proven ranking quality. As you can see, once again, I've purchased a lot of his services as well so let's go through here page two i think it starts yeah so hatreds post here post here post here that's three just there four if we go back we've got more uh five uh should number six right let's go for more i've tested a lot of services on this site um that's probably where i started Okay, so I haven't bought any bef uh, before that. So six, and I actually have bought some um, through Skype and things like that. But his service is probably the best um, for the stuff. And there's all his ranking stuff here as well. So th this is all I do. I use these two people. Uh, where are we? I use this guy here, and this guy here to rank my sites. If I haven't already got it to the front page with good content. Um, so nothing has really changed. We just do the same stuff as we were doing a year ago, two years ago. We're just doing the same stuff. I also have my own PBN, uh, my private blog network. I use Hatreds when I'm busy doing things and I want to outsource my stuff. But I have my own private blog network. I think it consists of like 30 sites at the moment. I'm still building a few of them out. So if you can do your own private blog network, that that's awesome because then you can just use your, your um, network be pushing the juice just to your site, not um, other people's as well, but it doesn't really matter. I don't have time to build PBNs constantly, so I use Hatreds. But nothing has changed, and really, I mean, there's been updates and stuff lately, things have changed, but I haven't been affected by them, so I can't really comment on that. But as long as you've got good content, good on-page optimization, you, you're off to a good start anyway straight from there and you'll you'll see like if your um, website doesn't turn up in search which is the ranking like if you don't turn up in the top 100 top 200 with just your content then you need to change it um you should you know you should at least come up in the top 100 i think usually or even at least bounce in the top 100 so nothing much has changed for 2017 that's just my opinion it's all still the same google always relies on backlinks and on page stuff and content to know what your site's about and that's not going to change um the only thing that's ever going to change is google goes like facebook and goes down the advertising route which they're doing now 
kind of a bit more, but you know, they want more money, so they put more ads on the front page, and SEO becomes dead. And that could happen. I mean, look at Facebook. Facebook reach pretty much died, and you you're forced now to advertise. So that could happen in the future, but right now it's not happening. It's good. It's working. So. For you guys that wanted to know about 2017, nothing's changed. There's no secret. There's no secret source to ranking. There's no button to push to get there. You will get there eventually if you just keep working at it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.